Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anuj Pachel and in this video I'll be taking you through 3 days in my life where I'll be studying quite a lot for my examination NEET PG which is coming up hopefully sometime in the next year. I'm going to be going to the posting, studying as well as giving a grand test which is a real life NEET PG like exam to see exactly what is my progress and sharing the tips along with you guys. So if you're a student watching this, hopefully this video will inspire you to study with me. I'm going to be studying microbiology today because that was one of the subjects which was weak particularly in the last GT. So I'm going to be studying it from Shastri which is the book which I used when I was uh, studying in second year. You're going to see this a lot of times in the video but before every single time that I sit down I always set a study timer and I tell myself that hai and in this one hour you're going to be focusing 100% attention only towards your studies and that really works wonders. Anyways I started looking through the Shastri textbook and, and I arrived on the gram positive bacilli which include Clostridia, Mycobacteria, Actinomyces, Nocardia and so on. These are very important microbes because they first of all cause a lot of diseases and second of all these are very high yield. What I've noticed is that in microbiology for neat PG they usually don't give a lot of questions from the easy bacteria which are Staphylococcus, Streptococcus but they tend to focus more on this atypical for example Actinomycosis and Nocardia or even Rickettsia or Chlamydia down below. My, one of my personal experience giving the grand test. After starting Bacillus anthrax which is one of the first first bacterias that we read over here, I thought why shouldn't I just see the questions which were previously asked. So I opened up my question bank which I had already solved in 30 I think and started to look through these questions to exactly understand which subtopics are important from this very topic. I understood that culture media is important, toxin mechanism action is important and the clinical case is important. When you've already solved a question bank, you can just tick off this show answers button on top of the question module, try to solve the question once again and check if the answer you've got is correct. You can also do this by just double tapping on the screen. This, this helps me mentally resolve the question bank without ever having to reset my entire progress. Since that was done, I opened up the microbiology notes on my laptop and started studying from there. Notes from edition 6.5 five revision videos which are actually downloadable so you can use them on any device and I started to revise from them and as you can see this is a very strategic approach first understanding from the question bank what is the important topics and, and then going through the notes if the answers to these questions are already present and finally going to the textbook to see anything and everything that we have missed as well as some of the images which are extremely high yield yeah I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go one chance and go on. Finally, in about two hours, I had completed the gram positive bacillus and I felt like one last thing which I can do to strengthen everything is to watch sketchy microbiology videos from the same topic. So I've talked about sketchy before, this is not a sponsored video of any kind, but this really genuinely helped me out quite a lot even in second year and even now. I remember some of the questions directly from the images which I've been seeing over here. Finally, when I was done with solidifying the concepts and the topics in my mind, I selected a custom module and tried to solve it to the best of my ability. I also always choose the most relevant tags for each particular subject. For example, in microbiology, I always add image based and common. Solving the custom module is sort of an active recall. So I just completed another custom module, I got bored of reading so I solved another one. This is the custom module code, you can solve this on Marrow if you want to. It is mostly of parasites and uh, yeah, that's quite a lot, I've read parasitology very nicely so I remember it. So the basic plan of action is that every Saturday I'm giving a grand test and this Saturday I also have to give a grand test but before that I really want to revise two or three things. First of all, I really want to revise surgery because I feel like both days the surgery revised now I've forgotten my coffee sari cheese. Secondly, I am doing the micro. Third, I want to do pharmac. And fourth, lastly, I want to do touch some basic topics for obstetrics and gynecology. So these are the things I want to do for this particular Saturday's GT and I want to improve my scores with respect to these aspects. Uh, so 
most importantly we will be completing microbiology today i am almost almost done with it the marrow division notes are great and pharmacology i've already made a notebook so i'm going to revise using that same with surgery and uh, same with ops and gynae as you can see it's currently 2 and i think i should go shower because subah se naaya nahi hai but i'm feeling good that it's like it's a holiday and i've studied very nicely at least 4 hours with deep work with good concentration and i think that's what's required guys uh, if you remember this was the exact place where i used to study when my final year of mbbs was going to happen and i remember sitting on this exact place studying medicine and surgery for the first and for the last time for my exams so yes that's been it see you after a quick shower i came back and started with the difficult part of microbiology that is the gram negative rods these are one of the most complicated organisms which have so many different properties and so many different questions which can be asked and i straight up went with the notes this time without going to the book because i felt like i should first focus on the high yield points and finally i went ahead in the textbook and revised only the images part and the small boxes which are very high yield in chastri Hello everyone so I've just completed the bacteriology section from our microbiology today and I'm very happy to say that so far things are good like it has not jumbled up yet but it will jumble up in the future so to prevent that I'm going to be revising it as much as I can as frequently as I can in fact this is my second read for microbiology which I just completed I uh, could say in one complete day you can easily study microbiology if you did it well in second year and tomorrow I'm going to be doing first of all toxicology because that is something which I really want to get better at I'm going to be revising my basic notes of GT notes jisko main kehta hu and thirdly I'll be doing the importance of surgery so these are the three targets for tomorrow today micro khatam hota hai so that puts me in a really good position by tomorrow and I should be able to get a good grasp of all the important topics that are present and all the volatile topics are also present because there are certain triads in surgery there are certain named surgeries that can be difficult to remember and toxicology entirely pura hi difficult hai wo so that is one thing the last thing i want to do is pharmacology which i'm going to be doing on the day of my exam i also have a school health camp that day so i have to go and you know help the little kids and वहाँ पे मुझे अंकल जी बोलेंगे अंकल जी डॉक्टर जी वट एवर सो ऐसा है आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल दैट इन दिस रूरल पोस्टिंग आई एम रियली एबल टू यू नो गेट अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम टू डिवोट टू माई पी जी प्रिपरेशन इफ दिस रूरल पोस्टिंग वुड नॉट हैव एग्जिस्टेड आई रियली डोंट नो वॉट वुड हैव डन बिकॉज कंटिन्यूसली इन द हैवी पोस्टिंग्स यू के नॉट स्टडी एंड इवन आफ्टर द हैवी पोस्टिंग दैन इन द लाइट पोस्टिंग वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट यू हैव टू गो फॉर सिक्स सेवन आवर्स एंड सिक्स सेवन आवर्स बोलने का होता है द मॉर्निंग वन आर यू टेक टू गेट रेडी एंड टू गो इन द पोस्टिंग आफ्टर यू कम बैक you're a bit tired so you take one and a half hour off so immediately it's like 9 or 10 hours already gone in a 6 to 7 hour posting currently i am almost halfway through this month and i've got six more weeks left so imagine the same pace going on for six continuous weeks it's going to be amazing it's going to be we're going to be unstoppable is what the idea is i have been giving dts weekly so hopefully this week also we see some sort of improvement in the score or at least plateau ho gaya to i'm okay with it if it plateaus out but let's not go to the decline phase let's keep it moving up so far i have not suffered a decline but i have heard that it happens and it can definitely put you in a depressive state i'm just going to go and revise the images which i just clicked and uh, put them into good notes so that i have a good image based copy for microbiology as well which is something which they ask very commonly image they dege aur puche ki kya hai kaun sa test hai kaun sa agar hai kaun si antibiotic absent is agar mein bakwas type ke questions jo ki real life mein kisi insaan ko help nahi karne wale anyways let's not blame the subject let's blame ourselves for being incompetent to learn difficult things this part of my home is like the part where you just go up and get to the first floor so a parking wala area hai you usually see this when i'm walking out from here but i thought it could be a good place to sit and chat with you guys so with that it it's 5:30 and i'm going to go up do some basic revision of images and then go meet my friends bye I went upstairs, opened up my iPad, and started making an image-based textbook. I opened up the Study with Me video, which Apple posted on their channel. So, my Study with Me, my Apple ka Study with Me, dekh ke main pad raha hu. How iconic! You can find the link for this in the description down below. After that, I spent some time playing with my lovebirds. This blue one's name is Budgy. It's a very common noun, which I turned into a proper noun, I guess. But he's very cute, and he likes to cuddle and whatnot. Can we please spam Budgy? He's so cute in the comments. <laughs> It was the evening I called up my friends to just hang out for a bit because my mentally I was very exhausted after completing bacteriology after meeting them I went home and basically did not study at all Yes 
Hello everyone, it's the second day but I've got a tiny news that it's currently 3 p.m. Exactly. So the thing is I spent the early morning and the afternoon doing the household chores, making sure that everything is fine. Both things are safe safai mana dhang se nahi ki. Then I sat for editing this entire video. So I did edit it for around one and a half hour. Edited the segments which I recorded yesterday. By the way, if you are still not subscribed, please consider doing so. It would really mean a lot to me. Finally, now I've sitting down to study toxicology. I'm very happy that toxicology in marrow revision notes is given in just like 15 pages. And those 15 pages are are the most high yield uh, pages from any you know textbook because toxicology say definitely questions I get uh, in fact every GT that I've given I've noticed at least two or three questions that have been given just from toxicology forensic medicine as far as it's concerned the basic medicine this medical legal procedure autopsy identification and all of that is present usme se bhalhe utne questions na but toxico every time so so doing this is like very high yield uh, another example I can think of is like in surgery most of the people go ahead with okay I'm gonna revise GIT I'm gonna uh, study it for 24 hours I'm gonna finish GIT but man GIT say hardly 2-3 questions I get but if you do that much effort you can revise the entire urology 5 times and revising the entire urology 5 times is going to give you much more uh, questions that you can do by the way that is Pawan he is my little brother he just came back home from the tuition class right so the approach over here is that just revise toxicology once at least before giving the GT and that should give you at least one or two questions extra correct another thing is that I'm solving the custom module once before I actually go and read the subject because by solving the module I have a good idea of what is supposed to be asked which is the most important ones because I've tagged these specific MCQs which are most common and which have been repeatedly asked so uh, doing doing that custom module before solving is going to give me a direction is going to of course tell me some of the important topics and of course it's going to tell me these questions right so yes that's the basic idea uh, and now let's get back to solving the custom module and then reading the book like I said I'm going to be reusing the revision video notes but I've also got Bardale which is a textbook which I used in second year to study toxicology it's got amazing images so for images this is the one which I'll be using which is my mnemonics bhi achhe hai. so yes that is one thing which I'm going to be doing let's go as you can see again a big timer which was set up and after that I also set up some music on YouTube music so kaane bachte rehte hai to ek boring sa topic bhi interesting lagta hai padne ko so that is what I did it's called the Mozart effect uh, it is improvement in cognition when you are listening to music while doing particular focus requiring tasks so I really require that when I'm reading forensic medicine it's one of my weakest subjects and I don't know why but I've read it so many times I've I, I, if somebody has any tips for forensic medicine, please, I am the one who needs help this time. Please let me know down below in the comments what I do. Other subjects I feel are good, but toxicology, forensic medicine, kafi mushkil hai yaar. Also, forensic medicine might remind you of your batch because uh, questions can come in batch mates. Pe, kabhi -kabhi, rehte. So, hota hai, don't worry. Sabke batch mein hota hai. But most importantly, we should learn how to identify them. And identification agar hoga, to hi tumhara question sahi hoga. All the best. Just finished toxicology and now I'm going to give another custom module to see what is my progress. It took me just one hour to revise it, so I'm thinking of making, uh, you know, some uh, mnemonics or some notes which I should be incorporating into my GT notebook and then 
seeing what happens this is already short we can definitely shorten it further by just adding only the imps and now it's time for the custom module take the 50 questions given out there let's see it will take me at least half an hour to solve it but i think it will show me what exactly has this helped me or not And finally I did the custom module, it was not a major improvement, I scored at around 60-65% I guess. I forgot to record that part. And then my friends came over and surprised me and asked me to get dressed up for celebrating 9 lakh subscribers on YouTube. Wow! So my friends just came over and we are celebrating 9 lakh subscribers we just crossed recently on YouTube. So first of all thank you so much all of you guys who have been subscribed since so many days and I really cannot imagine a life without you guys so thank you so much. We are making pizzas and we are going to be having some amazing time together discussing about internship, discussing about life and studies hopefully. So yeah that's the basic idea behind it and I am incredibly grateful to have amazing people like you know, Aditi and Abhijit and Radhika and uh, Arya joined me in this journey um, of my life. So yes, thank you so much to my parents and to every person out there who has ever interacted or watched my videos. So yes, I think that's enough. Pizza jo hai wo ban raha hai. Let's check to see how the pizza is going on. So this is the method that I usually use when I make pizza. Now hopefully it is good. I think, I think that this is a turn out, turning out to be amazing. Uh, let me just get that pizza out real quick and put another in. So to all the first year students who are watching this, you guys are new to medical college and one thing which I have learned over the last five years of being a med student senior to you is that make a lot of friends and make the friends and keep them close to your heart. If they are good people, you should definitely, definitely do. I cannot really imagine my life without these people that you see on the screen. And trust me, without friends, your MBBS life is gonna suck a lot. It takes time, but it's absolutely worth it. So my friends have left and uh, yeah let's let's start with surgery for surgery i'll be using my surgery notes which i took from of course revision videos rohan sir's notes are kafi badi hai i also uh, won the surgery quiz the asm surgery quiz using these notes plus bailey of course kostub jeet gaya bhai hum jeet gaye apan apan jeet gaye and i also finally arranged the bookshelf jo bahar pada tha itne dino se वहाँ पे एक पैराशूट की तेल की बॉटल भी है इग्नोर दैट सो यस दैट्स इट लेट्स गो एंड रीड सर्जरी एंड लाइक आई सेट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट रीडिंग आई ऑलवेज डू द कस्टम मॉड्यूल सो दैट्स व्हाट आई डिड एंड आफ्टर सॉल्विंग वन मॉड्यूल फॉर ट्वेंटी एंड वन अनदर मॉड्यूल फॉर फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन आई रियलाइज आई ऑलरेडी नो सर्जरी प्रिटी गुड आई स्कोर मोर दैन सेवेंटी परसेंट इन बोथ ऑफ दम दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज गुड इनफ नॉलेज एंड आई वॉज ऑल्सो टायर्ड सो आई कॉल इट टू डे बट इट वॉज प्रोग्रेस नंद लेस बिकॉज आई कम्प्लीटेड टॉक्सिकॉलॉजी एंड ऑल्सो बिट्स ऑफ सर्जरी विच वेर इंपॉर्टेंट
टुडे वी हैव गॉट अ हेल्थ कैम एट सावनेर पीएचसी आई एम पोस्टेड इन सर्जरी अलोंग विद कॉस्ट यहां पे हमारा बैग रखने के लिए है सारे पैंतीस इंटर्न्स इधर ही चले नो नो नीड फॉर सो दो मेनी इंटर्न्स बट दिस इज व्हाट द रियलिटी इज सो चलो हेल्थ कैम में जाते हैं देखते हैं क्या मिलने वाला है उधर क्या केस मिलते हैं हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट दिस हेल्थ कैम रूरल एरिया दैट इज सावनेर एंड टूडे वी हैड अल्थ कैम्प सो दिल्थ कैम्प वॉज फॉर ऑल द पीपल एंड इट वॉज फॉर द जनरल हेल्थ चेकअप देर वॉर लॉट ऑफ स्पेशलिस्ट विच आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड राइट फ्रॉम ई एन टी ऑफ थल पीड्स ऑर्थो मेडिसिन टू सर्जरी एंड ऑप्स एंड गाइनी सो अ लॉट ऑफ द पीपल केम टू द कैम्प ऑब्वियसली एज यू कैन सी इट इज़ कम्प्लीटली क्राउडेड वी ऑल्सो हैड वन ऑफ द एम एल एज कम अप एंड सो दैट वॉज अ थिंग विच हैपन सो हमको एज सच ज़्यादा पेशेंट्स देखना नहीं मिले बिकॉज आई वॉज पोस्टेड इन सर्जरी एंड सर्जरी में उतने पेशेंट्स आए नहीं जितने मेडिसिन और बाकी सब्जेक्ट्स में आए so i spent quite a lot of time solving custom modules sitting over there because um i remember some of my seniors telling me ki tumhe ek bhi second waste nahi karna hai try to optimize and you know be better at all times so as that happened and finally i came back from the camp it was extremely fun but also tiring at the same time because as an intern you basically have to do everything right from arranging the chairs to seeing the patients to you know the paperwork it's all on you so a lot of our co-interns were also present and an exclusive vlog from the rural area of my phc coming up very soon on the channel make sure you are subscribed for that of course you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down so i made my way back home and i directly slept because i was tired and so i woke up at roughly 3:30 hello everyone it's around 4 pm right now day third obviously i came back from the camp at around 2 uh kanana got get just slept because it was kind of exhausting abhi uthao so i am now thinking to just revise the euro part because that was not done yesterday read my gt notebook and then finally start the gt in about i would say 30 minutes so if you don't put a timer to it if you don't uh, have a exact time to give a gt ye hone wala hai so i promise ki every time the when i give a gt next time it will have a set time ki उसी समय बैठ के उसी समय उठना है सो दैट गिव्स माय सर्केडियन रिदम अ बूस्ट एनीवेज फाइनली डू इट लेट्स गो As only 30 minutes were left for my exam, I realized one thing is that always before an exam, we all feel that we are not prepared for this one. If we have five years to prepare for an exam, still on the day of the exam, we'll feel that our or thode din mil jate to maza jata. So getting over that fear every time is something which I always try to do, uh, and I think you should do as well because if just fear is stopping you from giving a grand test or giving a test. I think that uh, it's a mistake. So don't let fear take you over and set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes mein jitna hota hai pad lo. Then just sit down and give a test. Irrespective of what the scores are going to be, at least you would have sat down and did something with your time. 2 minutes left and I completed urology completely from the main marrow notes revision wale bhi nahi main use kiye. Now let's quickly read the GT notebook. This is my GT notebook. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to read it. Reaching for the So boys and girls I am ready I have completed my GT notebook uh, it took me around 25 minutes to do that <sighs> that is done now I think I'm ready to give my grand test so I'm going to you know just give the grand test thoda pani wani pee leta hu ek chakkar maar leta hu niche mein and fir aake GT dete hain dekhte kya aata hai I'm thinking of not revealing the scores or the percentile or whatever because uh, I just feel like that will create unnecessary competition in between the viewers of this channel and uh, I don't want to set any sort of high expectations or whatever so I'll share my top subject my worst subject but not the percentile or the marks because ek hi baar batao ka jab time aayega to so trust the process uh, yeah so that's it Maro has this thing called as uh, simulate the look of the real exam in which basically the entire screen becomes exactly similar to the exam which is going to be conducted ab mujhe nahi pata exam wahan pe kaise dikhti hai 
uh, but i believe that it is something which looks like this anyways you can also see a timer going on on the right side of the screen so that nobody questions ki yaar isne gt mein cheating wagera to nahi kiya so everything is over here and i've also uploaded the entire uh, give a gt with me vlog on the second channel so you can check that out check that entire 2 hour video as well it took me it took me roughly 125 minutes to solve 200 questions uh, i've always had this pace since the first gt i gave and the average question answering time was 38 seconds so yeah finally gt khatam hui aur this is the reaction <sighs> so boys and girls i have just completed uh, the gt i have not submitted it yet uh, i did 193 questions six questions not answered um so yeah and one question answered and marked for review so that is the case gts are so exhausting 85 minutes are still remaining but i'm going to submit it right now because uh, yeah 600 200 questions submit test okay view score wow <laughs> okay so i just took a screenshot so you can see 125 correct 69 wrong i think that's a good score because yeah uh, last week it was 115 correct this week it is 125 correct with this rate we should be going to 135 next week agar aisa hua to but honestly i'm very happy that this happened my score has in improved significantly from the last time and most importantly the questions which i got from micro and from surgery and from toxicology i was able to answer correctly because i knew those questions um i had read them and yes so that <laughs> medicine is one of the stronger subjects in this gt so last gt for no reason my medicine went down this is the medicine is my top third subject and uh, surgery has gone up and same with microbiology which has gone up significantly ent has gone down but it's okay ent ke zyada questions nahi the that has been the scene i still have to work i think on revising pediatrics dermatology because those are the weaker subjects i'm pretty happy with it uh, yeah that's it <sighs> grand test khatam ho chuki hai next week i'll be giving another grand test let me know down below if you would like to see weekly videos such as this one i know this were long and honestly i really enjoyed making them they really made me push myself to studies and they really made me document the process so i'm really happy with this and i hope you understand why i'm not sharing the rank or the scores it it isn't beneficial to anybody to go although it will set high expectations and what nots i don't want that so yes this is done so yes that was it i really hope you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe and share it to your socials it really means a lot to me all my champions thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye